You know, there are certain exercises that are harder than others. I mean, take Bulgarian split squats, for example. But for me, I have a hard time doing pull-ups. No matter how hard I try, I seem to just struggle in, in strength. Now, to help me do a pull-up, I have what's known as an assisted pull-up and dip machine, where whatever weight is put on this side, well, is subtracted from the weight that's actually on the other side. So the more weight that you put on this side, well, you guessed it, the easier it is to actually do a pull-up. Uh, super exciting, isn't that? You know, sometimes in life, we can, we can feel like we're carrying a heavy burden, and we can feel like we're struggling and straining under its weight. But much like the weights used to help me do a pull-up, a heart of thankfulness, well, that can help our, our burdens feel, well, a little bit lighter. And it's not only being thankful for, you know, the big things in life, but sometimes it's the little things that add up. The smallest things can make the biggest difference to our hearts and our minds, as well as our spirits. See, while that burden that we carry may still be there, our hearts and lives are transformed really by God's grace. How about we try it now? Let's see if I could do a pull-up. Here we go. You know, Psalm 103 is a song of thanksgiving for God's goodness. David writes, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all of his benefits. Well, talk about uplifting, right? You know, what would it mean for us to be transformed by a spirit of thankfulness and thank God for what he has already done and will continue to do in our lives? <laughs> well, I better get back to my exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Eesh. 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 